Golf can be unbelievably complex at times. There's so many different facets, different areas, different movements, different sequences, and it can be so complex. And because there's been 40 million books published about the game of golf, everyone, again, including the latest viral video that's gone out there, of a PGA pro getting told what she needs to do in her golf swing, everyone's a golf coach. Everyone offers advice. It's what I love about the game. It's brilliant. It's so many different reasons. Every golf course is different. Every hole's different. Every golfer is completely, completely different. Every shot you encounter is different. But the problem is everyone feels they need to be a golf coach. But you have to leave it to the experts. And today I'm going to show you one little simple thing you can do to help your game, but please don't always offer unsolicited advice. It is really not good, really not good at all. Rant over, on to today's tip. Now, what I want you guys to do out there, and this goes for many of you out there, I've seen this happen in a lot of experienced golfers, I've seen this happen in a lot of beginner golfers as well. What's this? Well, usually, if we're struggling for contact, and usually if we're struggling to get that ball starting straight, starting on its start line nice and straight, it's a lot to do with how the body's moving on the way down. Now, most of you know, if you don't, this is going to be news to you, but most of you know now out there in Golferland, we have to turn through to a finish. So our body has to rotate through to a finish. We don't just stop here on the way through. We have to rotate through to a nice finish. And a lot of you out there, I'm glad to say, do that. Some more than others, some less than others. But generally speaking, most golfers I've seen out there tend to turn through. However, if you're one of these who are working on their turn or have been told to turn, you might be falling into a massive trap here. Why? Because when you turn, you let your head and your upper body move in front of the golf ball, okay? So yes, that is truly a turn. But think about it. If we're trying to move our upper body on top, we are going to smother the ball. So if you've been trying to turn your body, but every single shot is coming out really low and really left for right-handed golfers, obviously the opposite for left-handed golfers. If you're a right-handed golfer and you've been trying to turn and that ball is going really low, really left, it's more than likely because you've made the mistake of not only turning your body, you've got well in front of that golf ball. But I've got the best tip for you to make sure that doesn't happen. So what we've got to try and do, yes, we've got to turn through. But what I want you to try and do here to make sure we turn through, but we've got to stay with the golf ball is this. I want you to place your golf club just in front of you here. Okay, just about, let's say about a foot length away from our left foot. And what I want you to try and do, still looking down on that golf ball, just with your right hand, imagine you, your golf club is your right hand. I want you to feel like you're turning through to your hand, to your left hand, but feel like the head is still very much in line with that golf ball. Look, I'm turning, but I'm staying very centered. I'm staying very, very centered. So I'm rotating around on a circular arc, but I'm staying very centered. I'm not lunging towards the shaft of this golf club here. I'm turning to meet my left hand. I'm just rotating around in a circle to meet my left hand. There's no excessive upper body movement. I'm just turning and that's the feeling. So we've got to turn and stay centered with the golf ball. Not keeping our head down per se, but keeping centered, not lunging, keeping centered. So when we say rotate, we mean rotate around our fixed axis and not lunge at that golf ball because that's what's the key and the secret to getting that ball starting straight, staying straight, and really importantly, striking that ball as sweet as we can. Because we're gonna struggle if we go too far forward and lunge at it, and also we're gonna struggle if we go too far behind. Stay centered and rotate, and my word, that strike will be going through the roof. just makes things a lot, lot easier for you. 